talk about a very important topic which is mind mapping so let's understand what is mind map so first i'm gonna read the official definition of the mind mapping okay so the mind mapping is a visual thinking tool that can help generate ideas and develop concept when the relationship among many pieces of the related information are unclear it is a really unclear for me the definition but if i simplify these things for you mind mapping is a tool which will help us to understand the problem in a more user centric way so what does it mean so suppose if you get any problem statement and you are not sure what are the parts or what are the use cases i need to cover so in that case mind mapping will be a great tool because it will help us to think how user think and it will cover all the non-linear thinking process so we generally think in a linear way you know whenever we'll be designing something we'll be thinking about all the happy parts user might be like interacting with our product but sometimes we miss some of the edge cases but this mind mapping will be helping us to think about when user is interacting with your product how they think and what are the things or what are the areas we need to take care of whenever we are designing so it is a very important tool Let's understand if you have any problem statement and how you get to the mind map to understand the problem statement better specifically more user centric way enough talking now is the time to understand how to create mind map step by step so in order to understand the problem statement better in a more user centric way so in this video i'm gonna talk about now how to create mind map with a real example step by step to understand the problem statement better so let's dive into this and understand it let's start it so i'm gonna show you what is the basic format of the mind map we'll be starting with the base first step will be you have to draw the subject in the center of this particular paper and circle it so first the main item will be here i mean the problem the problem will come here in the center of this area and you have to circle it okay this next thing will be if you have multiple ideas so it will be start creating some extension like this here maybe you have idea one let's assume you have idea two you have idea three okay and here maybe you have idea four and let's assume you have idea six okay this is the first branch you have created from the problem statement now your job will be to analyze these ideas and make the subcategories of the ideas so you would like to see if the four has different branches or not if you find that this four might be having different branches, so what are you gonna do so you'll be creating sub branches what will be the sub branches name idea 4.1 idea 4.2 similar like if you see that idea 3 has two branches idea 3.1 idea 3.2 similarly if you see that idea 3 point has maybe two branches 3 point idea 3.1.1 idea 3.1.2 so similar way this is the structure if you see this is the problem area so i'm gonna change the color and i'll be highlighting this main problem area this is the problem and this is the way we are just analyzing the problem statement so you see idea 3 
and we are just moving to the different areas idea 3.1 idea 3.1 this is the way we'll be analyzing the problem and it will give you the clear picture of the problem statement so let's jump into the real-time example and let's follow this template to create a mind map before starting the design you need a lot of information about user flow user flow diagram user journey mapping but if you don't understand from where to start so that will lead to a confusion so that's what here mind map will help you to understand what is the non-linear way you can think all the possibilities you can give to your features and here is a mind map which will unlock those all the thinking about users activity so let's understand how this mind map can help you to understand from where to start and how to start in this area so if i follow the same template i'll be highlighting the problem area at first i can mention the problem statement could be my dating app so this is the problem areas and this is the application which i'll be creating and next will be different ideas what features i can give so first option i can give to our user which is learn more about someone learn learn more about someone next features which i can give to my user find matches third features which i can give to my user manage profile okay just take an example like there could be many possible scenarios but for this video I'm gonna show you these options I just wanted to make sure that you understand the concept okay so this is the three features which I have highlighted here and we'll try to understand is there any other child features which I can give for our user so when it comes to find matches this area I can maybe create some of the child features like browse users photo so they can search the photo of their matches they can see see the information see the information about their user see the percentage of their match or this is a score so this way you can break down your features you know when it comes to manage profile since manage profile you can give the option like upload photo next option could be delete photo and next option you can add like this share my profile you got the concept of the mind map so this is the way you can create sub branch and you can start focusing on your main journey so if you highlight this main area go in a different way 
just to break down your user journey the find matches then user will be maybe will be seeing some information this is the way you can highlight different branches and you can focus which branch or which user flow could be useful for your user or where you need to focus on this is the way you will visualize all the information about your user what they might use and what information could be useful for your user limited in ux field you could use anywhere where you think you just want to break down the problem statement so it basically simplifies the things and it will be really helpful for your future project i hope and if you really feel that this video is really helping you to understand the concept of the mind map or you have any question or doubt please let me know in the comment section or if you have any suggestion you would like to understand about any particular topic you can let me know so wait for the next video there will be a lot of interesting video will come up so until then bye take care